Agri Fishery. EBB. Home Economics. Industrial Arts. Have you encountered a subject that would bridge towards skill development? Or a subject that would help you towards personal enhancement? If not, then this is the time to introduce to you the empirical world of the subject EPP. EPP or Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan is a subject that basically prepares learners to take on the real world and to be properly equipped with skills which are crucial to survive in this dynamic society. The skills that are taught in here will probably help our young learners to be more responsible, productive, and effective citizens not just for our country but to the whole world. This subject primarily commences in the 4th grade up until the 6th grade and then become technical vocational course when they reach secondary level. EPP subject and the new curriculum covers 5 components which are entrepreneurship, ICT, agrofishery arts, industrial arts, and home economics. These basic skills geared towards the development of technological proficiency and are anchored on knowledge and information, skills and processes, and the acquisition of proper work values and life skills. Now we will discuss about the agri-fishery arts. The examples of agriculture are cultivating soil, planting, raising and harvesting crops, rearing, feeding, and managing animals. Agrofisher Arts is one of the components of EPP. Agrofisher Arts is designed for hands-on learning and application of skills in agriculture and aquaculture. It provides adequate learning and actual learning experiences. Some examples of aquaculture include raising catfish and tilapia in freshwater ponds, growing cultured pearls, and farming salmon in net pens set out in a bay. Fish farming is a common kind of aquaculture. Let's move and learn agri-fishery for a brighter economy. ICT the transition from BEC curriculum to the K-to-top curriculum has brought changes such as the inclusion of ICT to the learning experiences of the learners, the integration of ICT or Information and Communication Technology in the EPP subject is very crucial in preparing learners to take on the 21st century society. Inculcating the ICT skills to the young learners address the needs to cope up with the changing demands of the modern world. Thus, the initiative of including ICT in the curriculum as one of the basic skills for the students to learn could really help learners to be developed holistically. ICT is an exciting and fun thing to learn. It teaches learners on how to use different web browsers and search engine to gather information from the websites. It also helps pupils to learn on how communication and collaboration works through sending and receiving messages via emails. Trains learners on how to be responsible ICT user when it comes in UC social media platforms. Introducing technological skills for the development of 21st century learners. Entrepreneurship is important and should be taught in elementary grades since entrepreneurship is defined as the science and art of creating and producing goods and services. This subject teaches the skills that benefit students from all socioeconomic backgrounds because it equips students to seek out problem-solving opportunities, empathize with others, think creatively, take risk, accept failure as part of the growth process, and appreciate the correlation between hard work and success. Moreover, it creates an opportunity to ensure social justice, instills confidence, and stimulates the economy. 
Furthermore, we all know the fact that there are students in elementary who lack financially and by this opportunity, it could be a huge help for them to have a knowledge about businesses that can help them to sustain their daily needs. Plan, create, work, and sell. Hardworking is the key to success. Home economics focuses on home and community management. The goal focuses on improving the quality life of individual and families within their community. This comprehensive program provides training for the students to have the necessary skills for sound decision making in their own lives and to become leaders in the field of home economics education. Some interesting learning that could get from this is for the students to learn home management such as doing household chores, sewing and textiles and clothing, handwork and creation in life and many more. This sort of learning could promote a higher quality life for the future of our young learners. Home economics, idea home for the day, discipline learners on the way. Industrial arts, according to Wendell Swanson, is dealing with the study, experimentation, and manipulation of raw materials and with the industrial processes that man carries on in his endeavor to harness his environment to his needs, such as carpentry, Plumbing, electronics, and orthographic drawing are some of the examples of industrial arts. This domain of EPP will assist the young learners to unfold their hidden expertise and nurture their talents and connect to real-life world. The skills that they have learned in this domain will be beneficial for the learners, where they can employ the skills in their future jobs and they have the capacity of having the background of learning the track they want to be when they will be in senior high school or in college. Industrial Arts, design your future! Now that we already know the domains and benefits of EPP and the interesting learnings where the young learners can get from each one of them, may we never take it for granted. EPP is the breakthrough of our lives as the future of our fatherland. This subject does really serve as a bridge that our learners must take on as they prepare themselves to become useful citizens of the country. It is then indeed that the subject EPP is a way not just towards skill development but also for better future. EPP 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 Key towards learners' holistic development.